Hello everyone, my name is Xbig Shadow aka Hero Alive aka um Tom and um today I'm gonna make you guys a little tutorial um for the color correction why? Because I got fifty freaking potato hat subscribers. I love you guys man. It's awesome I got the fifty but oh that sounded weird <laughs> but um yeah, you guys asked for it. You guys got me the subs. You guys are awesome, and let's go. Um, so this is the color correction that it will end up like. <laughs> yeah, I think that's enough. Skip it through real quick. So we got the outside right here. See, it's awesome yeah. as well, I think, but let's go. So, we want to open up Sony, Ve oh, Sony Vegas and import your clip. I already did it right here. And you want to go to or Alt Enter, press uh, that, or go to Project Video Properties right here. And go to Match Media Settings, which is right here. Click that, and you want to select your clip. Oh, my iPod just died, but whatever. Um, yeah. So we're going to select that. Those are my clips. And you want to press open. And you want to go apply and OK. So there we go. That will be the best quality to be that we are able to get. So now I want to drag on the video effects. So you want to go to video effects right here. You want to go to, um, going to start off with sharpen, which is right on the S. Just press S on your keyboard. Uh, first press one of the um, effects and press S and you will go down to saturation adjust, sepia, sharp and soft conscious, spare eyes, starburst, stereoscopic 3D adjust and you want to press sharpen and you want to drag on reset to none and I'm going to get my preset which this one which is exactly the same actually but I just wanted to make a preset so I don't forget to uh, add on sharpen um, the amount is 0, 0.0, so just 0, and uh, to make a preset you have to type, for example, um, lol, or tutorial, tutorial, and then you want to press this little save button, save preset button, and it will go right here. See, there it is, tutorial. You want to, uh, but I'm going to delete it, so I'm going to press delete preset, and as you can see, it's gone. So, Maybe I'm going a little bit quick because um, the last two times I went too slow and one time I didn't save and I got just a lot of... It didn't really work out well. So, yeah, that's the reason that I'm going a little fast. So, um, you want to go to Saturation Just right here. And again, drag on Reset to None. I'm going to get my color correction real quick. My preset. So, here we go. So, the amount of Saturation Adjust that will be... Um, amount will be 1. The center will be 0 0.2500, the spread will be 0 0.5000, the low will be minus 0 0.7500, 7, 7, and the high will be 1. So amount 1, center 0 0.2500, spread 5000, low uh, minus, minus 0 0.7500, and high 1. Okay, so next we on we got brightness and contrast, and again you want to drag on reset to none. I'm gonna get my color correction or preset. Okay, so here's the tricky part for cut four, and if you haven't seen the video, uh, I'll put a link in the description. This is where I got his settings from, but I got a few, a uh, one change actually because it was too dark. So um yeah, this is for cut four and it's good for Modern Warfare two as well. But I thought it could be uh, get, could get a little bit uh, better. But we'll leave it for this as now. So brightness 0, 0.0, contrast 0, 0.20, and contrast center 0, 0.50. And you want to save that preset again. And we want to continue on and go to um, soft contrast. And you want to drag on soft moderated contrast. And yeah, there we go. And again, you want to change it to. Oh, and again, uh, I'm going to get my preset out, and as you can see, this is all the same, so it doesn't really matter. But on the next page, which is Vignette, 
which is right on the knee so of contrast and you get effect and you get fidget I'm going to click fidget and you get this page so the exterior effect that I got will be blur and the strength will be 60 and the horizontal blur 5 vertical blur 5 and vignette shape rectangle but I found no actually stylish guest told me to um, put off the blur and I think it really looks um, looks better but sometimes you want to use the blur so this is the settings for the blur so you want to go exterior effect none and as you can see the blur is gone gone and it looks pretty awesome um oh oh shit what have I done? What have I done? I think it's right. Oh, yeah, real quick. Okay. Um. So you have seen the settings for blur. You may want to pause it sometimes because I'm going a little fast, and I know that. But that's on purpose. So softness, twenty, width, eighty, height, eighty, corner radius, fifteen, X position, fifty, Y position. 50 okay so as you can see right now it is dark <laughs> see it, you can almost you can hardly see something when you're inside so what we're going to do is we're going to go to this expand track crew frames button and as you can see there we go all the brightness duration sharp and stuff gets popped out and you want, just want to click like spam the brightness and contrast one so double click is enough and want to um, go to the brightness the brightness setting and what I did was I put it at 17 as you can see it looks pretty good on on terminal and 16 oh, it looks good I think I think it was 16 but I kind of forgot because I got a new PC but um, like as you can see it is way too bright in query so what I um, recently decided is I put it up down to 12. See, as you can see, it looks way better, and it's not so not as bright and uh, not as dark as it was uh, before on terminal. But 11 is good as well. But you just want to look what you think looks the best. So um, yeah, you want to want to choose what you think looks the best, and it was repeated. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's what you should do, I think. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's everything. So sharpen, saturation, just brightness and contrast and soft contrast. Um, if you want the red in settings, get me 60 subs. That would be awesome as well. Um, they're pretty good. So yeah, that was about it. Yeah. Um, uh, please subscribe to Gregor06. Um, he's a really good fan of mine. I play with him a lot. PlayStation Network. He really deserves the subs. Believe me. Um. I put his link in the description as well. Um, please type like Shadow Send it me. Um, that would be awesome if you write that on his channel and subscribe to him as well. So yeah, that was about it. Bye. I um, hope to see you later. Thanks guys for the 50 subs. It really means a lot to me. Bye.